In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you and with your spirit. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright, who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will say, My hand will say, Finest bread I will provide Till their hearts be satisfied I will give my life to them Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you Good morning and welcome to our Mass on this memorial of Blessed Margaret Pole, who was martyred for her faith in 1541. In union with her, in union with Jesus, we surrender our lives now into the hands of the Father, so that we may be blessed and anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit that we may experience the cleansing and the healing of those sins that cling to us so easily. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, Lord have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ have mercy. You are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful, ever-living God, you gave Blessed Margaret Pole the courage to witness to the Gospel of Christ even to the point of giving her life for it. By her prayers, help us to endure all suffering for love of you and to seek you with all our hearts, for you alone are the source of life. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. I will give praise to you, Lord and King, and praise you, God, my Saviour. I give thanks to your name, for you have been protector and support to me, and redeemed my body from destruction, from the snare of the lying tongue, from lips that fabricate falsehood. And in the presence of those around me, you have been my support, you have redeemed me, true to the greatness of your mercy and of your name. From the fangs of those who would devour me, from the hands of those seeking my life, from many ordeals which I have endured, from the stifling heat which hemmed me in, from the heart of a fire which I had not kindled, from deep in the belly of Sheol, from the unclean tongue and the lying word, the perjured tongue slandering me to the king. My soul has been close to death, my life has gone down to the brink of Sheol. They were surrounding me on every side, there was no one to support me. I looked for someone to help in vain. Then I remembered your mercy, Lord, and your deeds from the earliest times, how you deliver those who wait for you patiently and save them from the clutches of their enemies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our heads would have swept the raging waters. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed be God, a gentle Father, and the God of all consolation, who comforts us in all our sorrows. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honour him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
God is our protector and our support in every situation. And so we commend our lives into his hands that everything we experience this day may bring us closer to God, be a source of blessing and healing in our lives. We bring to the Lord all who are afflicted in any way, anyone whose sufferings are too great. Pray for those who are being persecuted for their faith, for their race, for their colour, for any reason at all, those who are experiencing injustice, that the blood of Jesus may be their salvation and their hope. And we ask Mary, who stood at the foot of the cross as Jesus was dying, to bring all of our intercessions to him as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God of love, pour out your blessing on our gifts and make our faith strong the faith which Blessed Margaret professed by shedding her blood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Margaret Pole, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. In union with Jesus, we pray that the Father's will may be done in our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Lord, we are renewed by the mystery of the Eucharist, by imitating the fidelity of Margaret, your martyr, and by our patience, may we come to share the eternal life you have promised. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the Surge, we claim thy care. Save us from peril and from woe. Mother of Christ, star of the sea, pray for. Oh 